common lawnmowers with a common lunge matrix with some common uncommon shoulder to overhead presses, kind of low the hips, feet and ankles, thoracic spine, the shoulders, and everything like that. So we'll kind of kind of give you, uh, generally speaking at first, um, a little bit of a rundown in terms of what that all looks like. And then from there, I'm just going to give you uh, a few of my favorites and then kind of discuss those as we go along. Uh, drop me an email uh, or a text if you guys have any questions on, on any of this stuff. So what we're going to do first, and in terms of what we label as common and uncommon, common I label as contralateral, opposite arm, opposite leg, initially for that, for the uh, the genesis of the lawnmower. For the uncommon, we're going to be loading same arm, same leg, ipsilateral. So to start things off for our common uh, lunges with our uncommon lawnmowers, we're going to go ahead and left arm and left leg. So we're kind of loading in sync. We're loading in sync, and we're really driving. TZ1 of gait and level changes. We'll go with our true pivot lunge. When we go with that true pivot lunge, we have row with the left upper extremity and a right upper extremity driver with in sync rotation, which really TZ1 of gait with this right lower extremity really drives the frontal, sagittal, and a big time the transverse plane because of this top down driver really loads this TZ2 hip right here into internal rotation as my pelvis is rotating to the left further and faster. So we'll come here. I'll throw in my common sagittal plane right here as a way to load this TZ2 hip into further extension. And a little frontal plane right there. Give us uh, give us you know a little a little side bend, a little side bend to the left. And then I'll drive some in-sync rotation and press with our common transverse plane press, which is going to further facilitate this transverse plane loading at the left hip, of the right foot and that ankle, and of the left foot and ankle and TZ2. I'll then add my uncommon shoulder to overhead presses. So here, I'm getting more hip extension, kind of um, kind of taking that butt out a little bit, and I'll go in with my my uncommon frontal plane presses right here. My uncommon frontal plane, which can help me kind of kind of load kind of that, that TZ2 of gait biomechanics of thoracic spine. So pelvis rotating to the left. I now have um, I now have an upper extremity that is side bending or thoracic spine that's side bending and rotating to the right, giving us that type two out of sync kind of thoracic spine mobility. And I can also go my uncommon transverse plane presses, which is gonna enable me with that right butt and hip to load that relative internal rotation, which I need in game for TZ1. So let's take a few of these for a spin. Let's go, um, just go straight sagittal plane first. So here, and here. Let's go here. And let's add that transverse plane. I like that guy again to go after the TZ1 hip. And let's go in. Let's drive that in sync rotation to get that internal rotation loading of the left TZ2 hip with my common transverse plane lunge. And let's add here, here. And then my common frontal plane to drive, I'm over exaggerating, but to drive the pelvis drop on the left, give me a, a better load in that right TZ, TZ1 hip and to uh, decelerate an adduction with deceleration of abduction and internal rotation of the TZ2 hip. So here and here. And again, we can kind of go from there to now a little posterior medial lunge or a posterior lateral. Let's take those guys for a spin a little bit and I'll show you why. So here, so here the posterior medial, so I can further with that uncommon transverse plane, kind of lunge and load the right side hip into TZ1. All that frontal plane and that transverse plane loading. I also with that, 
likes to go frontal plane uncommon to um, further kind of at this right foot and ankle dorsiflexion and inversion. I'll come on in here, uncommon frontal plane, boom. I'll also like to jam with my common transverse plane. My common transverse plane to really go after TZ1 of the right foot and ankle. Let's now go with our frontal plane. We'll go with our side to side, so it's going to be left foot and left arm, and I'll show you why I like to roll with those. So sink your left butt cheek down and in. You're sitting on a chair, loading that in sync rotation, that frontal plane load of the deceleration of a deduction at the left hip, AB at the right. And if we were going to go kind of a little pivot lunge, my my choice is to go posterior medial with it. So we'll go further the in sync rotation loading. Boom and boom. I can then with my common frontal plane load and press, press to get a little bit more adduction at that at the at that hip. I'll also with this guy here I'll go lateral lunge. Then I'll go my medial kind of pivot lunge. My medial pivot lunge, which I really love. So my medial pivot lunge, I'm driving out of sync rotation now. Thoracic spine, shoulder girdle, rotating left. Pelvic girdle, rotating to the right. And now to take up the slack, I took up the slack in that transverse plane and funnel somewhat. But now I'm gonna drive, get a little more mobility. I'm gonna go left arm, uncommon frontal. So really, kind of take the slack out in that frontal plane. Let's go here, and let's go out of sync. Uh, let's drive kind of our, our in-sync kind of press right here by going our uncommon frontal plane, our uncommon kind of frontal uh, transverse plane press. As we do that, TZ1 foot and ankle, that calcaneus evert, drops the talus on in, which spins off this whole leg right here into medial rotation. We get that same thing at the hip um, of the femur, which kind of takes the butt out, the glute out, in that transverse plane on the left side. But it really on the right, it really, really winds up that pelvis over that femur to give us good internal rotations. Let's go our posterior lateral, kind of our transverse plane common lunges with the uncommon lawnmower. So let's go posterior lateral here, and I'll go straight anterior medial. When I get to this position, if I want to load, if I have trouble with out of sync rotation between normal pelvic hip complex and thoracic spine, I'll load, I'll drive that out of sync rotation with the left and the right upper extremity, add some progressive oscillations, and then rotate and press to the left. Here, And here, challenging little exercise. Let's put you on a hillside. Boom. We can also add a, a medial pivot lunge or an anterior with that. And I'm going to show you how and why. So post your lateral. Let's go medial with it. Same thing that we just did a second ago. We want to drive a deduction of this hip, TZ1 hip, dorsiflexion inversion of TZ1. So here. Load out of sync, and then press, uncommon frontal, boom, press, uncommon for transverse, to further take the pelvis due to the top down driver, the upper extremity to the right, which will further kind of spiral that tornado like effect down to the foot and the ankle. This is why I like these guys. Go ahead and try these, play around with them. Let's see what you think. We're next going to jump on into and check on into the the uncommon kind of um, lawnmowers in combination again with the shoulder overhead press. It's common uncommon with some of our uncommon lunges.